Hey, Yaka, welcome to the online training with Sims Distillery. I'm Steve Sims, you know that. You're Jakob. I want you to tell the people what your name is, what do you do, and what is your problem? <laughs> okay, my name is Jakob. I'm content AI manager. So basically, I'm using AI technology to produce content, like blog articles, video snippets, deep fake videos. That's what basically what I'm doing. I worked as a former journalist, and now I'm a content AI manager. And my problem is, um, so I'm gi giving, I, I'm a big st student of your material. I am I want to be a speaker. I'm also uh, executing all the things that you gave me. So putting um, putting speaker on my profile, um, using, giving free gig, speaking gigs and also using promo material from, from the event organizers. But <clears throat> all these speaking gigs are for free. And I want, I mean, I know what you get for your speaking gigs and I would be happy if I get 10% of what you get paid. <laughs> so I would say my challenge is, so how do I get from this free area where I give and I also get great feedback from the people who, where I uh, give the speeches? How do I getting paid for, for what I want to give the lectures on? All right. So that's, okay. That's the main thing. Yeah. All right, so how you get paid speaking gigs. All right, so um, anyone that's been following me, you know the first the first thing you need to do if you are a speaker is to put speaker on all your socials. Yes. You've already said that it's in your bios, it's in your titles. You already have the word speaker there. You've said that you already do a lot of speaking gigs, but they are free, okay? Yes. Are they recorded? Yes, I'm using the the material also. And okay, creating videos so you've got the like material. It. Okay, you've got the material. Do you catch those testimonials? Testimonials of the organizers? You've already said that people say good things about you speaking on yes. stage. Yes, I How do you know they say... Yeah, for example, they DM me on LinkedIn. I'm doing screenshots and posting them also on, on, uh, on social and right. sharing it. Uh, all right, good. So you're getting that. Where are people seeing, after you've spoken at an event, where are they seeing that you've spoken at these events? Basically on LinkedIn. So that's my main platform because I'm basically on the B2B service. Okay. All right. Okay. So you're primarily working LinkedIn, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Do you have your own website? Yes. And what is the website name? Contentaitools.com. Okay, but is contentaitools.com the person that's going up and speaking on stage? That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> so, right. it is not. so do you not do you have a Jakob website? No. Right. No. There's your first problem. For me to put you on stage, I want to know that you know how to be on stage. And there's a problem. We're gonna come to that in a second, all right? But the first thing you need to do is validate all of my tick boxes that tells me you're a good speaker. Let me give you an example. I'm at a party and I turn around and I hear someone talking about AI content. And I go, wow, you need to speak to Yakov. This guy knows how to do it. He's been doing it. He's been speaking on stages. You need to, you need to get him on your stage. Now ask yourself. Will they believe everything I'm saying because I'm Steve Sims and I'm their friend? Yeah, I would believe you. Yeah, of course you would. Absolutely. You would believe me because I'm credible and I'm your friend. Yes. But what's the next thing you're going to do? Well, check the website and look. At what website? You don't have a website. Or just Google the name, I would say. All right. And so they're going to, okay, good. So the point is that even though you trust me, even though you believe me, even though you think, yeah, 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 Steve's good. Jakob must be good. You still check me up online to validate what I've actually said. You just need to prove that what I said is true. Correct? Yes. yes. If your only proof is LinkedIn, then that's not really taking your speaking career seriously, is it? Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. what you've got to do is you've got to show people 
Do you take your speaking career seriously? I was working and coaching an influencer out of the UK the other day, and speaker was actually on one of her drop-down menus right at the back end. And it was therefore a, it was a side thought and a side hustle of what she did. You need to prove to any stage that you are a professional, responsible, and respectable speaker, okay? If you go to LinkedIn, if I search for you and I find your LinkedIn profile, when I find that profile, what else do I also find? On my LinkedIn? You mean on my LinkedIn profile? So someone doesn't know you. Yeah. They Google you. They find your LinkedIn profile. They click on it. They have a LinkedIn account, so it opens. What else do they see when they see your page? The connections. They see the connections, but they also see other people that people searched for. So on LinkedIn, you are now providing your own competition to people that are seeing you. But when you go to your website, what's the only thing you can see on your website? Just me. You. Just, just right. Oh. So don't give yourself this artificial or this secondary competition. You need to go onto your, your favorite URL company purchase. You need to find Jakob's, Jakob the speaker, or you need to put in your full name. You need to buy your domain. That's the first thing you need to do. You need to then on there build a speaker page. And on that speaker page shows excerpts from all of the speaking gigs you've done. It also shows little testimonials and your speaker page. Like I've just finished Genius Network, War Room, High Level, Traffic. And I've just finished like about another eight speaking gigs. Over the next month, I'm going to edit those into my speaker page. So your speaker page is forever growing. You know, if you're, yes. ever, if you're ever lucky enough to be on the speakeasy uh, stage, you can add that to your profile. So your, spe your, your speaker <laughs> page is something that will constantly grow. It's never a done and walk away. Okay. So yes. this is what happens. On your LinkedIn, do you have other social pages as well? Um, do you no. have Instagram? Do you have Twitter? Do you have any of those? Uh, on my LinkedIn profile, no. Not on your LinkedIn profile. I'm asking, do you have other social pages? Do you do you have an Instagram yeah, yeah. account? Yes. Do you have yes. Twitter? Okay. Yes. Do you use them? Yes. Okay. Everything that you post on LinkedIn, do you share the exact same thing across all other social platforms? Or do you pick and choose what works for LinkedIn what works for Instagram? What works for Facebook? Or do you put it across all platforms? I try to put it all across the platforms, but except of Twitter because of the limitation of the, the, limitation. the characters. Okay, good. So yeah. every social platform is getting the same message, the same tone where possible. Mm -hmm. All of those eyeballs should funnel back to your speaker page. It should, should, should be the aim to get leads from 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 this speaker panel or in the early days it's to get validation okay okay i want you to show me that you take speaking seriously so when i'm thinking about picking up a speaker i want to be a, oh jacob's great i go to jacob's website i see his speaker page and i see on there that he's spoken at these stages and now i get to see little clips of how he looks, walks, and talks on stage. Mm -hmm. Now, I had a guy, and I'll never forget this. I had a guy that I knew, interviewed, did a podcast with. was a great guy. Very sharp, very entertaining, really enjoyed him. And I invited him to speak at my speakeasy in San Diego. He sucked. <laughs> he was terrible. What? Because he... I, I don't know. He was really good at being on a podcast. 
He was really good at having a conversation. He was really good at everything else. But I had not checked out, could he contain and control a stage? Now, being on stage is very different from being on podcast. Being on podcast is very different from posting a couple of pictures on your Instagram profile. So I want to see you can do everything. I want to reduce my, um, my fear, my challenge, by being able to see proof of what you look like on stage. So in the early stages of any speaker, you have to do free gigs, but you have to get video ass assets. You need to clip them up into little sound bites so people can see how you are on stage. So it's no surprise to them of what you look like on stage. When you've done these free gigs, have you ever promoted them on your social pages and thanked them afterwards? Yeah. Oh, always. So uh, the, the people who organize it, the people who Good. DM me, uh, constantly checking up and, and following up. And this le led also to another <clears throat> virtual session, virtual um, speaking gig. Perfect. Okay. So, Good. So you're yeah. doing that. So I said to you, there's a, there's a bad situation, and I would come back to it now. Now here it is. The problem during COVID is two things. One, every live gig got canceled. Yeah. So whereas there may be in your industry 50 gigs a year, this year there was 200. Because a lot of the places that were holding on to the deposits only gave them a year to use them up. So anyone that had a 2019, 20, 21, and 22 suddenly had to use them up all this year, which meant that there was a lot of stages clamoring. Like I had to turn down probably about 20 stages because I just didn't have the time. Okay. You, you, you could contact us. Uh, so <laughs> you, you, you could. But give you us don't have a speaker page. I don't know if you're reliable. Okay, so, I, will, I will work on that one. <laughs> right. So there was a lot of stages that needed speakers. During COVID, there was also a lot of people that suddenly woke up one day and went, hey, I can be a speaker. I deserve 20, 30 grand a bit. So the industry of speakers has got flooded with bad speakers, mm -hmm. but free bad speakers. A lot of speakers are now trying to get into the market because they think it's easy. So they're turning up and they're willing to do free gigs. And I, I charge 20 to 35 grand a gig. You know that. So, yes. But I've had people come to me that want me to keynote their event. And they're like, Steve, would really like you to keynote it. But we can get these 20 speakers for free. Would you consider lowering you know, your rate? And I've actually said no every single time for the simple reason that I take it seriously what I do. But there's a lot of people competing for the same spot on stage. You can only get paid when you've got proof that you're quality. And you haven't got that proof because you're not using the assets evergreen. You're not showing them on your website and you're not exposing to the events that you take it seriously. Yeah, that's a good Get point. a web page, have the word speaker on there. And I know some people that literally have their entire website is that speaker page. Okay. That's absolutely fine. Okay. On that speaker page, you should have a little bit about your history. You should have the five things that you talk about. And then you should have social proof of the stages that you've spoken on. So they can see live clips. It doesn't have to be the whole thing, like a, a 30 second to a two minute clip from your speaking gigs that they can go, oh, he holds himself well. He's concise. He's not nervous. You know, they want to be able to see these things. Yes. And Love then it. underneath that, and here's a very important thing. Here's a very, very important thing that a lot of speakers still don't do. Underneath the speaker page, at the bottom of the speaker page, put a downloadable speaker sheet, which is basically a PDF version 
of the speaker page. The reason this is important is because event companies love to share speaker pages. They don't like to share websites. They love to share speaker pages so that when they go into a meeting, they can have 10 speaker pages printed off and they can go, well, I like these 10. You know, what do you think? And then they'll contact you through the website. So make sure you have a downloadable speaker page. Make sure you have a click button on there that says, contact me for your speaking gig or for your stage. And make sure you've got good video proof on there that you are good enough. So again, when I'm in a party and I go, hey, Jakob is really good, they walk out, and here's the key, they will never check it on their desktop. While they're waiting for the valet to deliver their car, they're going to check you up on the phone. So make sure your speaker page always looks exceptional on your phone, not on your website, on your phone. Yes. Does that make sense? And, yes, absolutely. Love it. So just a quick follow-up. You mentioned the download, downloadable PDF. I saw yeah. this on your on your website, I think. There is also a high-resolution version yes. and a low-resolution. Can, yeah. can you dig deeper on that one? Because if I'm you want to print it off, then you can print off the high version so that everything's perfect and the, the pictures look good and there's no grain. But if you want to email it to someone so they can just see it on a computer, then I give you the option to have a low-resolution version so it's not a very big file size. I don't put it in a zip because no one wants to unload a zip from someone that they don't know and trust. So do a high-level version that's printable and do a low-resolution low version that's emailable. Now, I got that information from event companies. Because they would say to me, oh, people will send that media kit or that speaker sheet, and okay. it'll be like 400 megabytes. I'm never going to uh, forward that on. I'm never going to wait for that to download. It takes up too much room in my space. And you also can't download it on your phone, you know, unless you're in an area with, with good Wi-Fi. So make sure that there's a printable high-resolution version and a low-resolution emailable version. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, makes absolutely sense. And so, I mean, you're you're I mean, you're in a comfortable position that people are coming to you uh, because you have this experience. But but, I mean, I'm in a stage where I'm going to the event managers and and um, getting contacts with them and and pitching them. So, it's, I mean, I want to go to become also in, in in your position to some degree but is there is there do you have any lessons to share how to yeah first of all that magnetic? yeah first of all you have no idea what position i'm in i just make it look like i'm in a certain position okay. you see there are hundreds of really really good speakers competing for the same spot that i get on stage I still have to compete. I still have to reach out. I still have to talk to the event producers. I still have to convince them that I'm the best choice. All right? I think this year I did a lot of speaking gigs because of the book. But I think maybe out of that I got contacted three times where they just wanted me to be on that stage. Every other time I would find the events I want to speak on I would reach out to him and I would say, congratulations on your event. When you're looking for your lineup for 2023, I may be of assistance to you because I've noticed that your community is asking about this. And I have these three things that I could talk about that I think could impact your community. So how you can add value to their event, basically. Do you remember I've always spoken about what you bring to a barbecue? what you bring to a party. I'm making it easy because a lot of people, a lot of people will contact the event and go, Hey, great event. You should have me as a speaker. I'm brilliant. Well, yes. are, are you, you, you know, exactly. Who are you? Why are you brilliant? But if I can come to your event and go, Hey, great event. 
I saw that you had these speakers and they were talking about communication, branding, AI. You can turn around and go on that last subject of AI. I've been working for the last X, Y, Z years developing AI into my blogs and into my clients. And I can talk about the three things. Always pick three. Always pick three. I can talk about the three fundamentals of AI. How to use it, how to maintain it, and how it can impact your business. If these would be of interest, I would be happy to speak with you further regarding being on stage for your next year's event. And that's what you do. Now, you've made it easy for the event company to go, well, he's done his homework on my event. He's actually noticed the conversations that we're having in my event. And he's given me a solution to the questions being asked for next year. There are so many speakers that I'm that are way better than me that I've ended up on the stage because I've positioned myself better than they did. The amount of speakers that literally will contact going, hey, I'm an internationally acclaimed, brilliant speaker. If you need any more details, contact me. You may be brilliant talking about how to raise a dog, how to kind of like, you know, stand out in a crowd, how to do AI. But if it's a real estate convention, it may have nothing to do with you. So you need to focus on how your message can be a solution to their audience. Do your homework. Yeah. So you're going to do exactly what I do. I Look, I'm not going to say it's going to be easy because I would say that out of every 20 gigs I went for, I'd get one. And then the next 20 gigs I'd go for, I'd get two. And then I'd go for 10 gigs and get six. So it's going to happen that way to you. But even now, I have a team and we just, as we're just going through our social, doing our regular, we look at gigs. What gigs are being booked? What gigs are being put together? What gigs would I look good in? And then we do that. Congratulations. And also, I'm working on gigs for 2023, 2024. So when Jakob is actually speaking at the AI convention in Copenhagen, I can actually contact that company because you've thanked them and mm-hmm. say, hey, congratulations on having Jakob at this event. Mm-hmm. I noticed that he was speaking about AI. Well, I was actually at a recent event and I spoke on these three subjects. If you feel they would help your audience, I'd be very happy to speak about your stage for 2023. And you start lining it up for next year. Yeah, the the thank you method is working very well. So at least setting some tonality and and getting getting some contacts, it's it's helpful because you never know what kind of event they are going to organize in the future and um, how you can fill the slots. That's uh, And a lot of people that throw events know other people that throw events. So if you can get onto that stage, you maybe can get onto other people's stages as well. Yeah, exactly. So it's very important to do that. But at the moment, you don't show up as though you're taking it seriously. At the moment, it's a hobby of yours. At the moment, it's a wish. Get your domain, get your speakers um, uh, site up, get your downloadable sheets, and then share your speaker page. I've just launched my speaker page. Would love your feedback. And start sharing it out. Yes, I will do this. I will make you proud. (laughs) Well, make, make you proud, and that'll make me proud. I hope that's helped. Uh, absolutely that's uh really cool all right i look forward to seeing what domain you pick up but make sure he's got your name in there you know you've got a how do you say your name so um i always when people ask me this i always ask which one do you mean (laughs) (laughs) so yeah you you are yak well you say it yeah cool it's it's so that's basically how people call me and oskadesh is turkish 
a Scottish. And Cheung is by my wife. That's a Hong Kong's name. Yeah, that's. I, I right. also have a. I have also one another name, Jaehun. That's also a Turkish name. But that's that would be too complicated. So I just <laughs> always go with Jakob. Then I'm going to be very interested to see what URL you get. So uh, yeah. let us know what you get. They should be very easy to get. I, I think Jakob, because that's the name that I'm most known for, especially in the US. So that's. I think that's. But isn't there is, isn't there a um, isn't there an, a company called Jakob? Uh, there is one. You mean in Germany? There is Jakobs. But oh, that's, that's right. It's different. It was a, with an O in it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, grab your URL and uh, reach out. I thank you very much for being part of Sims Distillery and the Speakeasy family. So share it in there when you get your URL. Let us know what it is. Okay. Definitely. All right, Jakob, thanks. Thank you very much for your time and being part of the family. Speak with you soon. Thank you. Bye. Hey, this is Steve Sims, and I hope you liked that episode of Being Coached by Steve Sims. Subscribe over here. Watch some other cool videos over here. Or for your chance to be coached by me for the YouTube series, join here at simsdistillery.com.